Catholic Charities is the outward face of the corporal works of mercy for the Catholic Diocese of Orlando. Jesus went out in scripture. He went out and met people where they were, and then they came to him. And so that's what we're trying to do. I had a massive heart attack just before we were supposed to move down here. We were sleeping in our car, and then we, uh, we rode into Jennifer's office at Catholic Charities. I said, I'm not gonna have you guys in a car anymore, so come on back. I'm a firm believer in Jesus. Everything happens for a reason. To be able to get everything done in a day, that's unheard of and it had to have come from God. They gave us food <laughs> as soon as we got here. I loved it. Nobody judged us. Nobody, nobody wants to talk down to us. I have nothing but love for, for the Catholic Charities. We're in the middle of a rehab, a full rehab, starting inside out, replacing floors, piping, cabinets, countertops, new appliances, knowing that we're making a difference in someone's life. That's what I love the best. I am a single mother. It was very, very hard to try and find something very affordable and safe for me and just my daughter. If I didn't reach out to Connie, I probably will still be struggling right now, honestly. We're in this business to uplift people, to give them opportunities. If we can do that for one family, it's a win. Here, we could probably do it for over 100 families. It's nothing but God that I found this place. I started going back to church and I feel like everything is coming together. The idea behind St. Stephen's Way was to build a community of homeless families that could help each other. The whole idea is to help families become self-sustaining. We started thinking about what agencies might be able to do a good job in referring the families we're looking for. And I had worked at Catholic Charities. I thought somewhere along the way, maybe they can help us. They came in at exactly the right time. It's been fulfilled. We have done what we wanted to do. We built affordable housing. We're gonna provide supportive services to homeless families with school children. We'll be changing families' lives for the rest of their life. You know, sometimes people say, well, it's only 40 apartments. And I say, no, it's 40 families. And then it's 40 more. And it's 40 more. Being a part of this pantry has opened up my eyes to things that I wasn't aware of before. You know, everyone struggles. I'm just amazed at the amount of people they help out. We have our bag of meat, bag of bakery, bag of brettos, we have snacks. There's so much more to get back than you give out. It's community working together hand in hand as one team for the good of God. The St. Thomas Clinic is really amazing. It's been running now for 15 years, and we've seen over 15,000 visits for people to come in and see the doctor at no cost. It is a lifelink because people are getting care that normally wouldn't even be seen anywhere, period. Every time I'm seeing patients, you know, I'm just seeing uh, the face of Jesus. Just serving others, you get more, you, you get a piece of heaven. We get people in who have nowhere to go, who find out they have cancer. We're able to get them somewhere for cancer treatment. Like it changes lives. This clinic changes lives. I was in the middle of my process to become a resident. A friend of mine from Annunciation told me about Catholic Charities and I met with this lovely attorney. She walked me through everything. The day I got my, my citizenship, I, I was so happy. It just feels like being part of this beautiful ministry is something that God wanted for me. I feel like I'm a proud ambassador of Catholic Charities. I advocate for every person that comes through our doors. I see God reflected in those faces. I came to a country by myself with a lot of opportunities. 
and I just make the best of it. But I didn't do it by myself. When I came to Catholic Charities, I felt like home. I wanted to do my citizenship, and they told me what I have to do. I did everything, and on 2018, I became a U.S. citizen. It was a proud, proud day, a proud moment. Coming back to Catholic Charities and helping, it makes me realize that there's a lot of people out there who were in need more than what I was. I always pray that the Lord give me the blessings to be able to bless others. So whenever I feel like I receive, I give. And the more I give, I keep, I keep receiving, but it's not for me to keep, it's for me to share. The treasures of the church are the poor, the lame, the sick. There's plenty of those. We will never run out of needs. So the more funding we get, the more needs we can fulfill. When you go to bed at night, when you put your head on your pillow, understand that even though you may not know who we serve today at Catholic Charities, there were probably several hundred people who came not knowing where help existed, but were told to call Catholic Charities, and they were touched by Jesus Christ today, and you made it possible.